What's up, creepers? Hey, Geekers, Chris, the Atari Creep. How's everyone doing today? We are on our way to go pick up something. Something that's really cool, in fact. I'm really excited. It's a new journey. Something that I'm going to add to the channel, as well as my live streaming on Instagram. I try to do that every Sunday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But, um, excuse that noise. There's a big hole in my fucking exhaust. I gotta patch it up. I'm home all next week with the kids, school break. I'll be underneath the car working on that soon. But let's let's get to our destination safely, pick up what we need to pick up, and then we'll go home and fucking play with that. All right, we got it. This thing's fucking clean, holy shit. Let's get home and play with this. Bippity-bam! There we go. And there we have it, guys. I just went and picked up a Mattel Electronics and television. I gotta say, I'm, I am wicked excited um, to get back in on the Intellivision kick. Now, before I get into how excited I am, I will say definitively, I absolutely hate this controller. But, I've been wanting to give the Intellivision another chance. And can you believe the condition this thing's in? Wow, we, huh? Let's have a look at the bottom real quick flipping around. Oh, of course it's upside down, right? So, yeah, I saw this on the Facebook Marketplace. There's our serial numbers and stuff like that. Um, and it had been up there for a while. So I tossed the guy an offer, and he's like, yeah, fine. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but let's just say it was well under $40. <laughs> well under. Um, and he was a really nice guy. We sat there and talked about old games for a little bit. And he has the same love of Atari that I do, though he is probably half my age. But he said he had this extra one kicking around and had no games for it. But he fired it up and it did work. So I don't know if the cartridge port works or not. Neither does he. And that's why he was so agreeable um, to my offer. Because he was 100% not sure if it would play a game or not. But the thing is in immaculate condition. I don't even see dust on the inside of this thing. So I am really excited to get this going. So we are going to fire this up in a minute. Not to necessarily play, but just to make sure it does work. But before we do that, let me talk to you real quick about my brief history with the Intellivision. When I was a kid, right around 1980 was the first time I saw one of these. Um, I had a friend named Tammy from the neighborhood. We actually, believe it or not, would play Star Wars figures together. And she had two teenage brothers, and they shared a room, and this was in there. And I remember seeing them playing it and going, wow, that thing surpasses my Atari, hands down. So I would try to sneak in there all the time to play it. And once in a while, they'd be nice and let me come in. But I didn't really have much of an experience with it other than that. I don't know anybody else who even had one of these. Never mind, knew what they were. Um, so fast forward to about six years ago, give or take. Uh, could be five, I don't know, offhand, but long story short, I picked one up at a Goodwill for like 10 bucks in really good shape. It had these aftermarket joysticks on here, uh, those were in good shape too. And I brought it home, I played a couple of games, and it just sat on my shelf at the time. And there was a gentleman in a local Facebook gaming group, it's a private group, so I won't mention his name, um, put a call out there for an Intellivision. And I offered it to him pretty much for everything I paid for it. And it was still cheap. And I had a whole bunch of games with it at that point. Um, and I sold it off to him. Mainly because I just didn't give it a shot. But I've been wanting to play this for a long time. I've been wanting to play one of these for a long time. Give it another, give it another day in court. I'll still say I hate these controllers. But you know what? Maybe they'll grow on me. Maybe they won't. But either way... Expect to see, hopefully if this works, um, some intelligent television here on the channel from this day forward, as well as my live streams, both on YouTube and Instagram. So let's hook this thing up to the TV, see if it even works, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So we've got it all hooked up to the tube, got it plugged in. It's a sad day when you have to unplug your Atari, but you know what? I can live with it. For this cause. Let's fire it up. Boom! 
There it is. Wow, that picture looks great. Wow. I bet you this thing was hardly ever played. Hardly ever played. You know what? Let's grab one of these shitty controllers. One player. Enter. Sounds great. Ah, oh, it's controller. Oh no, 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 go this way. All right, let me fire some pepper. Ha! Take some pepper in your face, bitch. Sneeze, motherfucker. Ooh, French fries. No, that's cool. Holy God, yes. All right, let's put Beam Rider in. This isn't a gameplay video. This is a hey, dig me, look what I got kind of video. Beam Rider, please work. Oh, I can't wait. I hear this port is amazing. Oh, I have it on channel 4. I wonder if it works on channel 3. Hold on. Wow, that was ironic, because my Atari works on 3. Oh, no, you know what? My Master System worked on 4 only. That's what it was. That's why I had it on 4. Oh, this is so good. So good. Now, which one is this regular fire? Which one's the missile? Oh. All right, I just got to get used to this controller. Oh, I just fired off my missiles. Okay, so the top button is... There we go. This is such a great port. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck yes. So, guys, I cannot wait to jump in... Balls deep into this Intellivision, and I hope you're going to come along on this journey with me. All this super duper retro goodness, and uh, I can't be any more excited, except for those controllers. <laughs> but we'll we'll get past it. We'll get past it. We will come into this with an open mind, and uh, yeah, what an amazing day for the Atari Creep YouTube channel, Instagram stuffs, and everything. All around. So I want to give a huge thanks, first and foremost, to No Swear Gamer for my Atari.io Secret Santa pile of games here. Um, I'd also like to thank Rick R at the IO Forums for doing an amazing trade for Dracuria. And to Brian's Man Cave, who got actually the spark going to play in television. He is mainly an Intellivision guy. That's what he grew up with. And watching his videos actually got me a little bit more interested in wanting to pursue and explore the Intellivision. Again, of course, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Always means a great deal to me, guys. And uh, I can't say enough that I appreciate each and every one of you. So, guys, I hope your holidays are going great next week. If I don't talk to you between now and then, for those who celebrate a very Merry Christmas, please... Be safe. Holidays don't take accidents. Happy holidays in general to everybody who celebrates anything this time of year. And guys, go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How can you give this a thumbs down? Look at all this. Look at it all. I can't wait. I can't wait. Balls deep. And guys, yeah, thanks as always for watching. So take care. Creep it real. And bye bye those riffs.